Do you struggle when it comes to owning up your mistakes in a relationship? In this video, I'm going to share a couple reasons why owning up could dramatically change your relationship for the better. Keep watching. Hey girl, hey. Let me get this straight, okay? So you mean to tell me that every single relationship you had and every single guy out of your entire life, it was always their fault? <laughs> well, that would make you perfect, right? But if you were perfect, then... um. Why are you still struggling in your relationships? I get it. I used to be in relationships and they would break up with me. And for the love of all things, I could not figure out why. Why did they dump me? And when everybody would be like, oh, why'd you guys break up? I'd be like, I don't know. I don't know why he dumped me. However, hindsight 2020, now that I realized it wasn't something that I did, it was something I was doing ongoingly. It was a behavior. It was a thought. It was an action. It was a belief. It was something that I was doing in the relationship. So you have to ask yourself, is it something you're doing in your current relationship that you're just not owning up to? Are you always playing the victim in the relationship? Everything's always happening to you? Are you always depending on him and he has to be the solution to all your needs and if he doesn't hold up his weight then oh, you're so disappointed and you're so upset. Are you not letting him lead? Because girl, are you not giving him enough space? Are you not setting your boundaries? Are you constantly taking control of all things? Are you disrespecting him? And even worse, are you disrespecting him in public? And even worse, are you disrespecting him in front of your friends and family? So if you're gonna sit there and tell me that everything that's happening to you is because of the guy in the relationship that you're involved in, then um, you're in a toxic relationship, girl. You need to get out of that. If you're gonna sit here and tell me that all relationships went down south because guys are bad and all guys are bad, then you have a victim mindset. Get over that, girl. Do something about it. And lastly, if you're gonna sit here and tell me that you're in a relationship but that every single reason that you're unhappy and you're not at peace is because of the homeboy that you're in a relationship with, then you are in denial. Owning up to your mistakes welcomes humility into your relationship. And with humility, you're able to admit that, hey, you're not perfect. And guess what? Neither is he. But with humility, you are also bringing in grace and love and the maturity to say, we're not perfect, but we want to get to a good place together. So what do we both need to work on to make that happen. By owning up to your mistakes when it comes to your relationship, you're welcoming all that in and that's gonna help boost your relationship, it's gonna help make it last, and it's gonna help give you that relationship that you have always set your eyes on in the first place. So if you're looking to see how you can overcome a few more insecurities when it comes to your love life, then be sure to check your eyes on this video right here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.